welcome to my channel my name is Liz today we have a really exciting video I actually just got it in the mail uh, maybe two days ago and it's 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 called a mystery luxury makeup box so it's a mystery box and it has luxury things it's supposedly supposed to have about $75 worth of things and it was and then I paid $25.99 for it so here it is um, it's in this random box right here <laughs> so if you want to see what I got in this mystery box and if it was worth the money that I spent on it and if there is actually $75 worth of product in here then please keep watching <laughs> We're gonna go right into it. I'm gonna open it up and see what's in here. I'm actually pretty excited. I, I have to admit, I, I I did clean the box out and I'm gonna be using some Lysol in between just because we don't know who gave me this box and you know, I gotta take precautions, it's COVID. <laughs> so first off, I see, I got this by the way from the UK. This, is, uh, this box is from the United Kingdom and I think this was an eBay. Um, mystery box so it actually came pretty fast considering it's all the way from there and um yeah like uh i'm excited i, I think it's kind of cool to get something from the united kingdom i'm in canada right now so hello hello <laughs> okay i'm done anyways guys so first off i see that we have some brushes this is pretty exciting let's see how they look like i'm gonna take them all out of their packages and i'll be right back so here we are guys, they're black with a white tip and there's three, six, eight, eight brushes in here. So they feel pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to put them on my face until I wash them uh, just because it's a mystery box from an unknown human being. And you know, I'm not saying anything, but you know, you got to take precautions. So um, I always suggest washing your brushes anyways. But we have a nice, I think, concealer brush. Um, I don't know what else you would use that for, actually. A little tiny kabuki brush kind of looking thing. You can probably use this for concealer. Um, then you have two eye brushes, which I always love. And they feel pretty good. I mean, they're not like the most amazing. Um, whatever, like, I don't feel like they're amazing. And then we have this like fluffy brush. This is like one of my favorite type of brushes. So you can use this for highlighter. You can use this for a really nice contour, uh, removing powder, just a ton of other things. And then you got this guy right here. I usually like to use it for like cream products. So we'll see about that. So that's exciting I and mean, it's not bad. I, I'm excited to get these and um, we'll see how they perform when I use them. So let's see what else is in here. It has all these like fluffy things in here. I don't know if you want to see this. All these like stuff in here. So let's see what else we got in here. I'm excited. So I'm hoping there's some like luxury product. <laughs> so we have this Century Spa Foaming Bath Soak. And it's a nourishing, creamy, bubbleness enriched with wheat proteins and aloe vera so we got this little guy right here interesting interesting i'm just always paranoid like if they were used before that's my only issue about getting products like this i, mean, I don't think it's the best ideal to get a, a mystery box during this time but here i am now i just feel like you know who knows if they're used or not so we have this stretch mark oil it's a super uh it's a helps to super it's the same company and it's the mom to be. <laughs> I'm not a mom to be, <laughs> nor am a mom. <laughs> so it's a help super boost your skin's elicity. I might give this to my sister because she's not a new mom, but you know she has a one year old, and maybe she'll have use for that. Interesting, interesting. Then we have the same company again. Um, I don't even know if this stuff is expensive or not. Like, like what is the definition of luxury? You know, if you're putting that in the title, I expect like luxury items. And I did see on their main page that they had really cool items like they can get from Sephora. I don't know. So far, this stuff doesn't seem legit. Maybe it is. I don't know. I've never heard of this brand before. Uh, but it's the White Lily and Des Damask Rose body wash. So I guess another body wash. 
Interesting, interesting. So far, not crazy impressed. I mean, I guess it's a mystery box, so what can you expect? Then we have the Sheer Blonde Highlight Activating uh, Moisturizing Shampoo from John Frida. Frida. Uh, this is like a drugstore item. I don't believe it's, it's not luxury in Canada. I mean, I wouldn't say it is because you can get this at Walmart. You can get this at uh, anywhere, really. A drugstore place, <laughs> they'll have them. Um, I mean, I have blonde-ish hair, so I, I wouldn't mind trying it. Interesting product. Uh, so yeah, it's supposed to hydrate and reactivate dull faded highlights. So, so far, not that excited. I mean, I, I don't really see any makeup items. I see only bath stuff, hair stuff, just the brushes that are makeup. So then we have, oh my God, this, is, this, is this popular in the UK? <laughs> Somebody tell me. It is the hand cream now. So I have the full collection of this guy right here for body stuff. So far again, I do not see um, any makeup stuff. So a little sad. I wanted the makeup <laughs> or skincare, but like, I mean, not hand cream. <laughs> so then we have, oh, we have a, a skincare right here. It's W by W7 Coconut 3D Sheet Mask. And it's relaxing, soothing, hydrating contains uh coconut collagen witch hazel and vitamin e so here you go it's pretty cute packaging i do love face sh ma um, sheet masks so that's cute i mean i don't think this would be considered luxury i don't know we'll see i might have to look all these items up because i have no idea what any of these brands are other than john freedom freedom so all right let's see what else is in here oh i think i have another brush Oops, I, didn't, I guess I didn't see that. It fell out probably. So this brush is super cute. I like this. This is exactly what I love. I love these big fat brushes for everything. Blush, contouring, uh, removing a powder. This feels amazing. This is quality right here. This brush is great. Who knows? Maybe this is what I paid for. <laughs> that whole brush. All right, next... Oh, I have something from, oh, I have something makeup. It's MII Minerals Shimmer and Sparkle Dust. So let's see what this is. I've never heard of this brand before. This is what's exciting about getting things from um, the UK. You can probably get some brands that you don't know. So it's a little thing like this. Interesting. And it comes with our little brush. So I'm guessing the powder comes out. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty so like I don't know if you can see it you just kind of go all over your skin like this I don't know if you saw that wow that's super gorgeous I can picture just putting this all over like my chest area like that's a really cool product I like that I mean it doesn't feel expensive so I don't know I mean it could be but it's a fun product to get any anyways so then I got this guy right here which looks like a bag. I mean, not entirely excited about this at all. <laughs> I'm trying to be, I think it's because I'm so used to getting subscription boxes and things like that. I mean, what do I expect, right? So it's just like a little pouch, maybe for your brushes. I guess you can put your brushes in here. It's like a makeup little bag. And it comes with like a rose gold kind of thing. It's cute. I'll have some use for it for, I don't know for what, but you know, I'll have some use for it. And I have some products at the end here. So we have nail polish. We have the L'Oreal nail polish with this really beautiful taupe color. It's the color rich color. I don't really wear nail polish. I do my own nails, but with like gel. Um, but we'll see. I mean, I might use try that out one day, maybe for my toes. Then I see a lip product. I see the Maybelline lip gloss. Let's see how this looks like. Truthfully speaking, during this time, I don't think I'll wear these. I'd probably not keep them just because it's not sealed. It doesn't have a plastic over it or anything. And I just can't trust it during this time. You have to really take precautions. Um, mostly because I'm buying it from a random person. It's not like uh, you know, subscription boxes where you hope that they have them, like, 
brand new but there you go that's the other shade i did get another one um the shade is uh, uh it doesn't really say actually oh no it says so cotton candy and um cafe so i mean i know l'oreal and maybelline are drugstore makeup i mean if that's i mean everybody has their own terms on what luxury makeup is so i mean i can't hate you know here we got another nail polish it's a red so this is pretty i will keep the nail polishes and see if i can wear them for my toes i've actually never tried uh, their l'oreal nail polishes so that's pretty interesting uh i feel like they kind of look like they're a little bit worn out it could be just in the box and stuff I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of like, who knows if these are old products. Then that is all, guys. Literally speaking, I got a bunch of skincare, uh, like uh, body stuff, like lotions and body shower things. But I just got three makeup items, one skincare, two nail polishes, and uh, the brushes, which are the probably the only thing that I'm really, really excited about. Other than that, I mean... I don't know guys I feel like oh there's something else in here <laughs> it's a candle and it is one of those dollar store ones you can get and it has a hair in it so I will not be using that <laughs> I mean my voice probably indicates what I think about this box I personally think uh with the shipping and all that stuff that I had to pay for this box I don't think it's worth it uh, it's fun and exciting to do boxes like this anyways, though, because I feel like I love watching people opening up mystery subscription, sorry, mystery makeup boxes or skincare boxes. But if you want to see more like this, uh, me, you know, maybe buying more and using my money to buy more stuff like this, then please comment below and like this video and tell me if you want to see more of this. Do you think this was worth it? It is. I think it was in total like 40 bucks with uh, tax and shipping and all that stuff. Do you think it was a scam? Do you think it was worth it? I mean, $25 overall is not like, I don't really think you could have got luxury makeup. So I didn't know what, what I was thinking about. Like in my mind, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to get so many fun, cool stuff. Like I saw in her photos, like the lady's photo on eBay that she had all these amazing like skincare products and like that and who knows it could have been false advertisement right i don't know maybe i just got uh gypped or <laughs> scammed who knows but um overall i do think it's a really exciting and fun uh way of opening boxes where i don't know about anything that i'm getting and and i i love watching these types of videos and i hope you do too i hope you like this type of video and want to see more uh also if you want to see my other videos please subscribe and like this video uh and uh yeah i hope you have all a wonderful day again comment below tell me if you think this box was worth it or you think it was a scam <laughs>